last time we're locking up bargain hunters. Another chapter comes to an end. What's up guys? We've been working hard. I'm gonna show you bargain hunters in a second what we've been doing. Cleaning it all up. We closed the store down about seven days ago, I think now. And we've been working hard. We're gonna show you bargain hunters. We've been filming. We've been doing all kinds of stuff. Casey's breaking stuff in the background, as always. <laughs> Say hi, Casey. Hi, guys. Okay. Don't sound so super excited. I need you to calm down. He's excited in his NFT because he drove all the way to LA. Michelle, talk to him and I have been breaking down this room. That's why we're like, ah. I was filming today. I was filming an interview, guys. Interviews, so, yeah. Hey, anyway, let me show you what the store. I'm going to show you what we do. We're going to go to the Cali first. What's up, dirty girl? Hi. Because <laughs> we did this whole room, so show them. We broke down all the shelves. Me. What if they don't want to see? Okay, well then. I don't know. Subscribe. There's more fun and exciting stuff. Get to come. Uh, okay. So these showcases, we have them up on Facebook. I mean, we had several people trying to hold them, but they all flake out like always. Facebook Marketplace is like your biggest waste of time. <clears throat> you know? Most of the people you deal with there is like people that probably can't buy on other platforms. Pallets, pallets, pallets. So Facebook Marketplace is great when you have a store. And, uh, you know, you just advertise your address. Tell me, come between those hours. That's it. Check out all these pallets. This is stuff that we kept. And believe it or not, we sold like 80% of the store. So this is stuff that we had upstairs. I'm going to take you guys to the upstairs. There's another row back there too. This one's a little bit shorter, but... So these, you know, like it'll take me less than a day to move all these. These are all gonna go to storage until the um, paperwork on our warehouse closes. More pallets we've been picking up. So, I don't know if I've ever showed you guys. I might have showed you guys this a little bit before. The secret burger hunter's office. This whole stairway, this was all packed with boxes. Could barely get up here. And when me and Casey first opened the store like over 10 years ago, we were like, it was a big risk because so this light will get better in a second. It was a, it was a big risk because we were like, well, we're going to do a huge store, huge overhead to start, to start with. What if it doesn't work out? You know, I was like, you know what? We'll make a one bedroom studio apartment up here. So when we got this, this was all messed up. So now it's kind of rough because we had boxes, but we put brand new carpet, brand new matting below, painted the walls. Only thing we didn't do was the ceiling. And we had this bathroom. We actually built all this out. Put the linoleum down. Brand new toilet we never ended up using. Nobody ever took a crap in this toilet. I'm thinking, should I take one before we leave? But it's not hooked up, so probably wouldn't be right. But I might take it out. So, yep. So this room was top to bottom boxes. Everything in here was top to bottom boxes. This was a lot of work getting it down. Also, when we built this, we built this window in here. So this used to be a cinema. And this used to be the projection room up here. And I would have a desk right here and I could watch the whole store. Caught several people stealing, of course. Of course, they get all upset when you catch them and confront them. They don't like that. And then we put up all that wall up that slat wall which used to be artwork. Hey, this is actually a pretty big warehouse. This is big up here. So, all right, let's go back down. You guys can see how tall this is. We just have a lot of boxes in here. A lot of this palace stuff came actually from up in here. And some from the store, but not too much from the store. I sold everything to a friend of mine, Ron, while I gave him really good deals. He's happy, I'm happy. He just left us a bunch of trash, but that's okay. He said it was okay. So that's what we do now. So you guys know, this used to be the entrance. Huh? No, we're in a digital age, we all do that digitally. Ooh, hot yellow, I like it. <laughs> hey, I'm gonna show the... Oh, I'm just taking a little video of the store. Show a little more frontage. So. Oops, I don't know why that's here. I think Cheryl's taking all that. 
We've basically been taking time out employees. So today it's just Casey, Cheryl, Daniana sleeping in a truck. This little girl been working hard. And you know, I think sometimes at night she sends messages with her friends. She's an age. You can tell her she has passed out in there. But that was the front of our store. These stickers came at the end when COVID happened. We put them up there. We changed the store. I was, but um, I don't know, used to be a saying on there, but underneath it. Let's see what it says. Let's see it one more time. Open seven days a week. People would come here from all over the world, and when we weren't here, they would stand in the middle and take pictures, which to me was crazy, but it was kind of cool. It made people happy. So the last year kind of sucked in here because this whole shopping center had been closed. We were the only ones that stayed open. Us, the restaurant, and Humble Heart. And um, I don't know. So I'll tell the story in a few weeks what actually happened. It's actually really good for us. So then we also had Sal's Barbershop over there, which is like 1,000 square feet. That was full of boxes from top to bottom. A lot of the pallets come from there too. That's merchandise that never went in the store, antiques and stuff, so. We'll do a lot of unboxing videos. You'll see what's up. Oh. Oh. I forgot they broke just when they broke in. Damn. Hold on. Get at that. There we go. So we'll actually unpack all these pallets on video. You guys get to see it. Some of my Hot Wheels action figures. This was our front, so we're just taking all these shelves apart. These used to be remembered of Star Wars wall. All these used to be shelves here. Casey working hard. This, we don't say yo, Casey. Oh, okay. See, as Miss Cheryl would say, we don't have we don't have a need for family fitness, right? That's old school. Huh. Come to bargain and get our gym on. <laughs> what's the hair? What's the hair color of the week, Cheryl? YouTube wants to know. <laughs> what, what's the hair color right now? We're, we're still in uh, well, Wonder Woman blue, I guess. Wear blue? Yeah. You know, Why do you look so guilty right now? I don't know. <laughs> this, what do you do? There's no. I do nothing. All right, guys. Let's let's make sure there's no body in there. Oh no. So this is stuff like you know that's the leftover when they, when they took stuff they kind of threw some stuff on the floor but that's fine. Okay, that's your guys. It's okay. We've been cleaning it. Okay. So this bathroom right here, that's our second bathroom. You couldn't walk in here either. It was top to bottom to the wall, boxes, and then we used to have lockers right here for our employees. Hoarder. It's not hoarder. We got so busy with storage wars. We bought so many deals. Check this out, whoever did this thing. So this was before we got here. And I did, we had a huge water leak here, like the last week of being open. And it was like leaking out, um, like probably 50 gallons a minute. The whole store started getting flooded. Luckily we caught it the first 20 minutes, but still we had like two inches of water till up the entrance almost. It's pretty crazy. So here's stuff that we left. So we're gonna trash all this probably. Maybe take some of the computer paper. I don't know. It looks a little rough now because everything's getting torn apart. I mean, this used to be all gondola wall. That's what I need. Hey. Hey, well, I can't, you know, it's the fur. I can't be tossing that, so. Right? <laughs> it goes with my lace mask. Do you like that? There we go. <laughs> all right. All right. <laughs> That's all I got for you. Thank you for coming. It's not very boring. That's all you have to do is point a, a camera at a person without saying anything. After a minute, it's not acting weird. They will run away. <laughs> hey, any message to our YouTube user, Cheryl? Uh, yes, follow us because what we're going to do next is crazy. So just keep an eye on us. Don't tell them about the warehouse. Don't say nothing. Don't tell them about the Don't future plans. Them, no. Everybody thinks we're like we went out of business. Just this location closed, but we got some big plans. Stay tuned. Stay tuned, yes. yes, yes. And in a couple weeks, me and Casey will make a video talking about how all this went down, future plans. You guys know Storage Wars is coming back April 20th. So. Why do you keep on selling oh, me episodes? Tired. <laughs> 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 so that's, that's the office we've been up there. So the girls, like I filmed today, like there's a lot of trash right here. So they cleaned the whole day. 
We took these shelves apart yesterday. Here's more bins for us to use for the extra next room. These I sold to my friend Jose. I hooked him up 300 bucks for all three sections. That's a steal. So in our new warehouse, so we're gonna have pallet racking, but it's gonna be twice the height. Here's our really cool Swan security system. One of the cameras. <clears throat> so this is a whole trash pile. These one of our good customers is picking up tomorrow from Germany. This stuff we're just tossing in the trash. We'll have a truck pull up here, put it all in the trash. This is actually pretty big, man. The store looks, now that all the stuff is gone, it's like a lot of room in here. No wonder we had so much stuff in here. All right, guys, I'll show you some more footage in a minute. We'll fast forward to another day, I think. I gotta get back to you guys. So here's the other room we had. Nobody have ever seen this. This is all. This is stuff out there. I'm not showing because the dude is playing his music out there. The neighbor. This room was completely boxes top to bottom. Everything in here is eBay. Pretty much. Now some stuff we might have put aside. Oh, all these Alan Edmond shoes actually they need to go. I'm gonna put these on eBay right away. Um some more video. Huh? Huh? Uh is it Smash Mouth? No, it's not Smash Mouth, is it? It's with Fred Durst. What is this band? No. It's it's Sublime. Oh, Sublime, okay. Hey, I know all the music. I don't know every band because I actually was busy making money during the 90s. Right, but you just said you knew more music than me. Just said it. Well, let's start um, <laughs> more diversified music, sir. Okay. You know, I'm not going to have this talk, okay? <laughs> okay. Oh, these are great right here. Heavy as hell, but like uh, a little bag goes for like nine ninety nine. That's probably like a hundred bags in there. It's welding tips or so. You see Star Wars, some kind of statues back there. Here, get the floor stuff first. So we just keep on getting more and more floor room. This thing. Um, oh yeah, put these with the drum bats. Drum pads. What do you want to do with this? We oh well, look, it says more Prius trains. I hope they're in there because we've been selling like we take you know that box is like a thousand bucks, okay. but uh, it has to be on the bottom of a thing, or maybe we'll even take it separate. We might not put it in a pallet. Okay. Hey, when you get to these Prius trains, check if there's Prius trains in there because we've been selling those like crazy. Here, like we never even put these games out. Never had time. So in the Atari games, we took the better games. So most of the twenty six hundred stuff is gone. That's a typewriter. It actually sells for five hundred on eBay. Manimal, manifold god gauge sets. We're gonna have a lot of this astronomatic stuff going online. I think these are new like um, music signs. I think that's a Fender sign. <sighs> well, this is pretty much eBay, except this clock right here. But... These things are good, huh? Game gears, there's a lot of video game stuff in here. And then back here, that's some artists we opened up a long time ago and I just put it here. This whole room, it's like something that we just filled up. I never got to, there's a lot of video game stuff in here. So remember when I bought the video game locker on Storage Wars? So these very first few boxes right here, these are boxes that come from that locker but we never open them up. We have the door back there. And we've never opened them up. And so I still got a quick check because the guy has like games hidden everywhere. And a lot of brand new Gibson guitar cases and stuff like that. All I will go on eBay. This used to be my swap meet setup. Probably gonna sell it. Uh, yep. And then like this whole second half back there. When we get to it, it's all brand new tools. I'm gonna sell to one of my guys. I just don't feel like moving it. So this is the last stuff that we have to clean. And then we're just moving. Oh, Richardson, yeah. His story was he slept with Steve Nash's wife or something like that. <laughs> really? <laughs> he came to Phoenix. He was okay for a while, but... He's the point guard, huh? No. Steve Nash was the point guard. So, um... Definitely not a small forward. No, he's a good player, but, I mean, obviously a shitty teammate. Small forward. That was funny. <laughs> eh, not that funny. It's pretty good. Huh? Richardson is laughing about it a bit. Huh? Richardson laughing about it no i think he kind of faded away yes, I, I haven't even heard of him no, he used to be really good i mean he, he, when he played for golden state that jersey was you know getting 40 50 points a game what's his first name jason but when you get that kind of reputation it's like people are not really gonna be looking out to be kicking it with you 
Hey, let's pull out all these Edmund shoes. We're gonna take these right because they're like all 100 to 200 bucks a pair on eBay. Yeah, so separate or in a box? What's up, guys? Uh, we'll just take I'm gonna take a little video right now. So, this is the back room. You've seen another video where we're sorting stuff out. We're cleaning out the store because we got bought out of our lease, didn't go bankrupt. Uh, we actually got paid a lot of money to leave so they can build apartments. I will do a video about it in two weeks if you really want to know what's up. But I'm about to show you, so a bunch of these boxes right here, you'll see a boxes. Remember that huge video game find that we made on uh, Storage Wars? This is like two years old. These are boxes, we never even went through them. But I kept all of them because we just keep on finding video games. See, there's so like Colego Vision, Fairchild, there's like a bunch of stuff back here. This was all full of stuff. I don't know, you can't really see now. But you see some video games behind there and stuff there. I think we clean all these already, just a little bit here. So we literally had so much video game stuff in there that we've never even uh, got to everything. You know, it's Com, Com 64 there, Atari. And I can't really go out because this guy's playing music out here. Tatiana, say hi. Oh, hi. Okay, I was just kidding. So uh, it's kind of show you it's like a Jaguar here somewhere too, I think in here. One of three. So all this stuff been sitting here for like two years. We've never got to the stuff. Like all this stuff is eBay stuff. Like I said, we're gonna have some interesting eBay stuff come, but I'm gonna show you guys something in a second. Um, here, single floppy disk. All the stuff will get listed on eBay. Nobody, we've never really taken anybody in here. And this is stuff, it's not that it's dirty, but if you watch the video, this is the stuff that we never got to. And if you watch the storage war thing, you probably recognize some of these tubs. But see, so I kept a bunch of, oops. <laughs> Gotta hide that, hopefully we don't see that. That was porn. So um, there's a bunch of boxes. The guy was just messy. So he must have collected before video games really got popular. So like here, this, this is just like a whole bunch of controllers. But you know, somewhere here, oh, here's a Vectrex down here. Last time I checked, they were like 50 bucks. So I don't know. I mean, I didn't check for two or three years. Um, and then he just has like these boxes. Most of them are full of mess, but then like here, you know, Rocky. Looks like there's a bunch of cool ecovision games. So I'm actually doing it on camera the first time. Carnival, Turbo, Saxon, Victory, Defender, NBA Life. That used to be game. I was trying to work on it. Star Wars. Then over here, he has uh, King's Quest. Quest for the ground and what's this air rescue so and I have a whole nother box we started like a month ago we started sorting a little bit so somewhere down here is a whole box with nothing but cartridge games I'll see like this box is all VHS then you got right here Dreamcast so um, I'm gonna put a box together with just all the games I keep on pulling here now these never were in the store I mean I don't know if they were shown in storage was probably not because Mostly a little bit harder to get to and we had so much. But I'm going to put a box together with nothing but games. And I'll do a separate video with nothing but games. And then as you see, once we get the warehouse and we start going through stuff, you see that's a whole thing full of uh, consoles. We just stuff in here. Looks like there's a bunch of cartridges down there. So I'll have a video. Actually, I'll probably be this video. So we'll have a bunch of... Uh, We'll have a bunch of... Actually, we're going to show it now probably because it's probably going to be this video. So, But I wanted to show you show you guys what it looks like. And then let's go look at some video What's games. What's up, guys? I tell you guys all the time. You ask me, what does it take? Right now, it's 9.30 at night. I started at 10 this morning, I think. 10 or 9.30. Um, we started later because one of my main guys requested that we start later so he can get ready. Well, of course, he didn't show. So I luckily had several other people helping. But I just unloaded this puppy right here. 24 foot truck that was all full of pallets that's one of my storage units i just had to check them out for tomorrow got another 20 by 25 actually tomorrow is sunday so i'm gonna take off but now because you know my guy's unreliable and i feel like i'd rather get ahead of the game than behind of the game it's i'll probably be back at the store by 10 o'clock and i'm gonna spend another two hours loading uh showcases that we're just gonna trash on monday um didn't sell them didn't advertise them enough we saved some for people on facebook but of course they're flaky that's why i was saying my videos facebook marketplace is flake flake place fake flake book so um but um yeah i'm just sharing with you guys what we're doing so i want to show you more video 
Um, on Easter Sunday, obviously, I'm going to take the day off, but I'm going to meet one guy just to take a look at a whole tool lot I have for me. Bought a lot of stuff from my store, just on lots. Empire Thrift, Rommel, go check them out. It's a lot of cool stuff. Uh, all those new products that we had that you used to buy in our store all the time, well, he'll, he'll have them now too. And I'm about to sell them like 20 to th probably 20 grand worth of tools tomorrow. So, anyway, let's head back to the store. Let's load showcase. It's fun, right? Let's see if we can get out of there by midnight, get some rest, and enjoy Easter. Let's enjoy Easter hey tomorrow. It's midnight now. It's quite eerie at Bargain Hunters. Lights look good. Seems like it's brighter with nothing taking up the light, right? So, my pallet right guy still hasn't been there. Hopefully he doesn't flake on me. It's funny how people always ask you for all these favors and then they just don't return text messages, phone calls. <sighs> I just cleared out all the showcases except for two. My neighbors wanted these. They were supposed to get them yesterday, supposed to get them today. I mean, I was just gonna be a jerk to be honest and just throw them in a truck and throw them away. So I hate it when people flake. They were supposed to be here when I come back at 10 o'clock because they were gonna clean their stuff. But they didn't do that, so. But then I was like, you know what? I'll be the nice person. I'll just leave them here. We'll be back Monday morning. First thing in the morning, I have to take them. If there's any kind of reason why they can't take them right now, they're going to the dump. And all these showcases, all empty. Clean up the bookcases. So Monday morning, we're gonna come do trash. <clears throat> Security system by Swan, still working great. Then we started taking pallets back here already. Oh man, I'm tired, guys. So I'm gonna take you right now to the next room, but it's probably not gonna be right now because I'm tired. And uh, yeah, I just don't feel like doing it right now. What's up, guys? I said we're gonna go to another room, but first we're going to the dump. I got Casey and Tatiana with me. It's another day. It's actually April 5th, it's my birthday, so you guys make sure to take the opportunity. Uh, wish me a happy birthday in the comment section. Or tell me I should be dead already. No, that's not funny. Or tell me something mean, that's good too. Like, I love my haters. But if you're part of Team Bargain Hunters, you can say happy birthday. Say hi to Casey and Tatiana. Hi guys, we're at the dump. Tatiana has never been to the dump. I've never been to the dump either. I guess I've been to a filling station. She was trying to say transfer stations. Oh, transfer stations. It's pretty amazing for being in the storage business for like 15 years now that you've never been to the dump. <laughs> I've been to the dump many times. I used to sleep out here, make my home. Worst oh. case when people drop like good stuff. There's actually good stuff in the dump right now. These wooden rolls down there, people buy them. And there's actually a bunch of pallets which we could use. But um, yeah, so we've thrown away showcases. This whole thing right here was full of boxes, but I forgot to start filming, so we're filming. Oh, I guess I should have told you. Yeah, it's okay. Tatiana, first impression of the dump. I feel bad. Yeah, I feel bad. Because we throw stuff away? Yeah, the planet. You feel bad. It's just, we're wasteful. How bad do you feel? I feel really bad. I feel bad for the planet. We're wasteful human beings. Yeah. Do you guys, do you guys feel bad enough to quit buying brand new merchandise? To go shopping, to go to vacations? Well, we don't throw stuff away. <laughs> Yeah, hoarders, but every time you buy something no, new... No, 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 we're collectors. Yeah, right. <laughs> I like their... If storage was ever gets cancelled, I'm putting these two up for hoarders. <laughs> like, all you ever see Tatiana, she works an eight-hour shift and spends three and a half hours carrying stuff to the car, sneaking them around. <laughs> it's like... But hey, guys, remember this showcase? We, that's, that's the only one we bought brand new. Yeah, I remember before we bought this, got the store when we went and bought this. That takes me back 10 years ago. Tatiana was little. Tiny. How many hours? You want to stand in front of the register one more time? How many hours have you spent in your lifetime in front of the register? That used to be a computer. Too many. Never too many, girl. There's keys. Oh, yeah. Those oh. keys are not important or anything, right? Let me see. I hope not. <laughs> Let me see what they look like. Maybe we found them someplace. No. So, um, San Diego dump. This is all the dump stuff we just dumped. This shelf right here was one of the best shelves ever. So, yeah. All right, let's continue dumping, and then I'll take you to the room that I sold to Rommel. All the tools came a good deal. All right, Tatiana, any more messages for the dump? Recycle. <laughs> what should they do in the comment section? I'm gonna say happy birthday to my father. Don't sound so excited. I need you to calm down. You're way too high on the energy level right hey, now. Happy birthday. <laughs> happy, happy birthday to Brittany. <laughs> 
This is what I do. I, I swear to God, I'm gonna make a video every, every year. My birthday, it's like a major deal going on. I know. Last year on his birthday, we bought the 25,000 action <laughs> figures, and actually, Tatiana was three and a half. And oh, look, there's a necklace. Look, my little hoarder. I know, right? It's an open. Oh, and it looks like it's jade. It's, it's just imitation jade. What? So, uh, Ten and a half years ago? No, eleven years ago, I guess. We moved to San Diego. Yeah, we moved back. to San Diego on Renee's birthday, so we had to get up at five in the morning and drive heavy duty trucks after only having like four or five hours of sleep, loading the trucks and packing up all our stuff from Vegas to move back to San Diego. And lesson, guys, if you go to the dump, bring your prune because we forgot to bring your prune. Yeah. That's okay. Any last Thank words? You. All right, goes. I paid 700 for this counter. on Discovery Channel. If you're part of a storage wars bargain at this family, we actually take you to the dump. You know what, I don't think there's enough, we might not be coming back. But we had some footage, but Casey forgot to hit the film button. <laughs> but those big bulldozers, there's bulldoze everything in a row, and it's kind of cool to see. Well, he's coming a little bit, but he's just flattening it now. Oh, here's another one going over too. with the big color. But see, we find happiness in the little things in life. And you know what? It brings me such joy to go to the dump. Oh, here, here. Done that. 
Not, not that I wanted to make dump runs for a living or anything like that, you know? But it's always good to know, right? So I try to teach her everything about business, about real estate. I'll probably end up showing her how to drive a truck like this. But just now go to the dump, it's not intimidating. All right, now go to that. Let's see if we can get a slow motion. <laughs> Did I get the shot that there? Ready? Yeah. the dump and the whole crew in Mirror My Hair recognizes me which is nice though what love watching the show fans of the show but what do I do so I'm trying to flip a showcase like flip it so we have more space because I don't want to move the truck again and I step on the edge and I lose my footings so I fall on my ass <laughs> like literally oh just like total wipe out I got it in slow-mo <laughs> the one big tractor oh you got it in slow-mo I got it in slow-mo oh, and the one big tractor, he stops, he's like, you okay, man? I'm like, yeah, I'm good, I'm good. Maybe yeah, we guys. should film right here because it's all topsy-turvy. No, it's okay. This is the dump, you know? This is how it is. Okay. And I, t I totally wipe out. And then I'm walking out the front to reset the gate. The guy was like, well, we thought you fell off the gate. <laughs> I'm like, no, I just slipped. I caught myself. <laughs> so, like, I, I felt my footing slipping. And then I tried to catch myself because, like, the end of the gate goes like this on this truck, so... Yeah, no, that was one of my good story, so I'm I sure. missed it too, have my back turned, I was sweeping. I see it, but I think he's just like kneeling down, and then I like look down, and he's just laying there. <laughs> Big shout out to all the guys over here in San Diego at Miramar, the dump, super friendly guys. They all work their butt offs, help us get stuff clean, basically, and try to keep the environment as safe as possible. So big shout out to you guys, thank you for watching. Thank you. Um, also, the reason I take Tatiana to the dump, so I said it earlier, but Casey said... Uh, Maybe it didn't come oh, out. Does, I was have this? Yeah, it had it earlier. Okay. Oh, whoa. He's talking about a crack in the windshield. I don't know yeah. Okay. But it doesn't matter, I got insurance. It happened when you fell. I caught in the 6.0 earthquake. <laughs> so, I, to I told you guys, the reason I take Tatiana to the dump, obviously I don't want to learn how to you know, be at the dump every day, but I'm trying to teach my kid like different aspects of life because honestly, you never know what life will bring, especially with the economy now. So I wanted to know a little bit about everything. You know, I got her like a really up-to-date computer later thing just so she's in computer stuff and she's just, computers are part of her life, obviously. Yeah. And then also I have a book. So I have a dump, so if she has a situation in life where she needs to make a dump run, it's not intimidating, it's not a big deal. She's like, yeah, let's go get a truck and we'll go dump, no biggie. And it's, it sounds like a small thing, but you'd be surprised how many people just don't have the experience of never done it and they're freaked out or intimidated. So I'm trying to show her as much as possible. And today you got to go to a dump and unload a truck. Hey! That's, this is one of the few times in the business where you literally get to throw everything. <laughs> All right, guys, let's get back to the, let me show you the stuff that I just sold to Ron. Rommel Sikander. Is that how you're supposed to say it? Yes, I can there. So what's your store where they can buy a lot of stuff that you buy from us wholesale? Back up, you gotta be off guard. <laughs> Where'd you come on, what's the store? Empire Thrift? Empire Thrift is store, 1090 East Main Street. There you go, there we go. So I sold them all these tools for way too cheap. So when you go to the store, make sure to haggle. Make sure you get a discount, like a two for one or something. And uh, should we say how much you paid for all this? Nah. Let's keep it secret. Let's keep it secret, okay? I know. I, 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 I should tell him that I bought the entire store. He basically bought the entire store except our eBay stuff. So we sold him everything. All the clothes, all that new clothes, all that designer stuff we got in the last video. It's all going to be at Empire Thrift. All the tools at Empire Thrift. A lot of our antique room, all the Empire Thrift. So if you guys need some brand new motors, Pricks and Stratton. All right, all right we got to go to work, so we're going to keep this one short. So that's my good friend, Zach. He's been helping us the last two weeks doing the store. <laughs> Talking trash the whole time. Zach, what, what hat are you wearing? You know, I'm a, I'm a huge supporter of Dave Hester. <laughs> Great. I know that he's good friends with Renee, and so I, uh, I'm out here trying to support both of them. <laughs> <laughs> that's, a, that's a zero. So uh, I think we're going to have Zach update his um, uh, resume. Is there any kind of special jobs you're looking for? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Just, just got to yup my way to it. Hey, where can they follow? Don't you have an Instagram people can follow? You I, do a lot of cards? 
Um, I mean, I can set one up, but I just have my private right now. Do you want people to follow? No. Um, nah. Nah? Okay, guys, sorry. You guys, <laughs> he wants to have nothing to do with your YouTube family. <laughs> yeah. God, this is not the best YouTube appearance, Zach. I'm going to be honest here. Okay, it's, okay, okay. No, hey, no it, you didn't, hey, you didn't hey. care. <laughs> you, you didn't care about the YouTube community. You said, hey, Adam. No, I'm just kidding, guys. Give him a follow. What's a follow? Where, where can uh, I follow you? Team underscore Pat01 on Instagram. All right. And then, is there anything else you want to promote or anything you want to say? Um, I think Dave's superior in sword wars. Okay, Hold so on. he's definitely looking What's up, for guys? Jobs, guys. So it's another day down. I got Danny just second stock. I got Zach back there. You guys met him earlier. He's yeah. like, take that off because people think I really love Dave Hester when I'm dedicated to bargain on this. He doesn't love Dave Hester? No, it's oh, funny. You got okay. the hat. But the center stalker, check him out, subscribe. It's like a beard, I guess. So we have one more day tomorrow, and he's trying to <laughs> punk out right now. So if you don't see <laughs> if you don't see him at the ending video tomorrow, you'll know that he went to Victoria's Secret for the panty sale. It is five for, for twenty-five, man. For himself. Five for twenty-five deal. For himself. <laughs> which is nothing I'll try wrong to with come that. Down here so we'll try. we see you at twelve o'clock, right? It, hopefully, if I saw, like, if I get around. You know what? Excuse me. This guy's like, oh, I gotta go bedroom shop setting. Well, I, yeah, I gotta get a. <laughs> That, yeah. See, that, that's like, a weird excuse, right? Yeah. It's not an excuse, but it's true. Now that he's true. Now that I put that excuse out there, he goes like, yeah, that was a pretty bad excuse. No, but just, you should just went with hemorrhoid surgery or something, you know? Hell, it, it does hurt. So, <laughs> go subscribe to this channel, Sinistalker. Make fun of me. And no, make fun of me. He better be there at 12 tomorrow because I'm going to leave a lot of secrets out. A lot, oh, lot, no. of, stuff, lot of pictures he doesn't like to be seen will come out. Watch out for those pictures, man. Yeah, the time him and TJ with him and Fluffy. Oh, yeah, and, that was a good time. Yeah, yeah, that was fun, dude. We but, have pictures when you were drunk. I was a bit, I don't remember what happened, but the pictures. Uh, don't yo, lie. We'll the give you flashbacks. Don't lie. Pictures don't lie. So you're going to be here at 12 tomorrow, right? I'll, I'll try to come here at 12. I'll Danny, try to come here at 12. Everybody else starts at 11, okay? I know, I know. Don't make us make fun of you. This whole Bargain Hunters family, the Fluffy Gamer family, I'll get the Wet Movie One family. Well, you can get the, the Bargain Hunter family. Bargain. Yeah, the Bargain Hunter family. You want to be part of the team, you got to be here at the last day. Almost 100K right here. Almost 100K. Almost 100K. Don't change this up. The next day. <laughs> we, just, um, we just unloaded another truckload. I think we're going to unload the last truck right now. Sinistalker, absolutely no show, but we got Casey here. We got Zach here. I don't know where Danny's at. We haven't. Wait, wait. Oh, oh, oh. He came late, but he Dude. did come. I'm here. Better late than never, right? Better late than never. He, he, late never. <laughs> he did come through, so why don't you guys look how hard curly my hair is all of a sudden. It's like, it's good, man. <laughs> why don't you guys go over to Santa Stalker, give him a subscribe, tell him Team Bargain Hunter, thank you Ooh. for helping. Tomorrow's gonna be probably the last day. What if we if we don't get it done today? So what time? Tomorrow. Can you, tomorrow. What time? What time can you come tomorrow? I'm actually busy tomorrow. Okay. So I'm actually busy tomorrow. Stop bullshit. No, just, you guys go over there, give him a subscribe, guys. All right, Casey. The room is almost empty. Okay, the room is empty. Voila! I never thought it would be possible, but especially Zach didn't think it was gonna be possible. He could just say yesterday, we're never gonna get this done, and we're like, no, shut up! And then it didn't get done yesterday. So. All right, Zach, <laughs> sorry, you said you were wrong about something you said on video yesterday. You wanna correct yourself? Uh, all I said was yeah. this was gonna get done. Now I'm talking That's about your Dave Hester support speech. Oh, what I said, what, what, I said that he was superior. What? It's funny, off camera he was like, oh, maybe we can delete that. So what is it that you want to say that's going to stick with your reputation? Um, that error. I think, <laughs> I think Daryl and Dave are superior. Just kidding. Yesterday he was crying. The stuff is going to you. Yes, guys, he was crying yesterday. He's like, maybe we should take this off. People are going to hate me. Nobody's going to hate you. They like Daryl and Dave better anyway. It's okay. No, I'm just kidding. Renee's the coolest guy in the world. No, you just, hey, you don't hey. change the story now. We gave you two attempts. Hey. No, 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 I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm going to put a big thing on your face that says Team Dave, Team Daryl. No, 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 no. <laughs> I'm, I'm hashtag Team Renee. <laughs> can, we get, can we get Team Renee in the, uh, in the chat? Team Bargain Hunters. Team Bargain Hunters, let's get it. <laughs> There's no such thing as Team Renee. It's all yeah, you. Yeah, because hello, Tatiana and Michelle and Dustin and I, we all work her. And even Plus, Zach, maybe we'll let him in Team Bargain team. Hunters. Woo! <laughs> also, like all our YouTube family, everybody watch it. That's all Team Bargain Hunters. Team Bargain Hunters. Team Bargain There's no I in team. So this one is clean. Now we gotta finish a little bit of stuff at South, and then we gotta finish the big store, and we're done. Yeah. All right, guys, let's go back to work. Let me load this pallet. Done too. This one you couldn't even walk in the door. This was completely full. Boxes top to bottom. There was still some more from a comic book hoarder house in here. There was stuff from the Indian hoarder house. There was stuff from the tool deal in here, and just other miscellaneous stuff. These belong to one of my employee. 
So all clean. This was Sal's barber shop. Fortunately, he passed away, I think, like a year and a half ago. Or maybe it's been a year now. You have one year or two years, time goes by so fast. All clean. You guys get to see the before and after. We sprayed those glasses so people couldn't see as good, but you still could see a little bit, but not completely clear. All right, guys. All right, this is the final walkthrough. Tatiana just said she remembers when we first got it. This used to be all restrooms we built all this out. Yeah. It's kind of sad a little bit, huh? Now, now that we've done all the work, is now I'm getting a little bit emotional, but it's Wasn't okay. Wasn't there, um, so there's this down set right here, but also right here, wasn't there? You go up through here, and then the bathroom is right here. No, the bathrooms were right here. So that was that was women's, and here was men's. But I remember that there was another building. No, right here was like a counter where they used to sell popcorn, and that used that used to be a whole different business sh shop over here. Here was the movie room, but when we got it, it was already even. They saw. And up there's the projection room. No, the lights were here already. Oh, were, um, we redid them all. And there was carpet like, everywhere, right? There was, yeah, the, the whole thing was full of carpet. We took out all the carpets. This was like 11 years ago. The only thing that we left that we didn't take is the pallet, the, the shelving, I mean, the, that wall up the slat wall, but they said they don't care. We painted all this. Like up there, it used to look really crappy. We like black painted it all. It cost me like $1,000, I think. I had to use special, um, it's kind of falling paint. By the time it falls down, it would be dry, just become dust. So, you know, I don't know. Good times. Tatiana was really little. Remember, we got pictures with the sledgehammer when you were helping me. But a lot of people think, and we're going to do a special video, like we're going out of business. It's not that. We got paid to leave, and we got paid a lot of money. So, I mean, um, Fairfield took care of us. So. That's the right over there. That one scares me because at hmm. night, like I'm walking past and I'm used to it being shelving and I'm thinking that's gonna be white because I forgot that there was spray paint. So I went in and it was empty and I see that, oh, it freaked me out then. <laughs> used to be a pool hall, but the pool hall was only here a very, very short time. Let's go say hi to Casey and Tatiana. This oh, Casey and Cheryl. Cheryl's the other child. Cheryl. Yes. She was with us for many years. Now we have to let her go. <laughs> Fire. So if you guys are looking for a good employee, Cheryl's Did looking for... <laughs> I'm just kidding. She's going to come with us to the warehouse. <laughs> no, but... So we have the next two months until escrow close on the warehouse. And basically, we need to recharge our bodies. Oh, yeah. We're all sore. You guys want to say... You guys want to say anything to the team bargain hunters? Follow us. Follow us. It's not over. The best has just begun. Yes. Yeah, so now YouTube is actually we're going to start doing a lot of YouTube videos now. So it's actually going to be a lot of fun. So yeah, there's going to be lots of exciting content. Wow. We got a we got a nice rolling shot going. <laughs> Woo! <Whoa. laughs> Let's go see if Cheryl clean at the bathroom because we were filming yesterday. She had to clean at the bathroom. So let's take a look. Woo! All clean. So people been dumping like crazy. So one store's been dumping their stuff and then just people now because there's not that much. It's so, it's so crazy how nasty people are. They just think it's okay to dump, you know? They don't think about somebody has to pay to clean it up. Like none of this stuff is from us. None, none of this stuff is from us. So just, this is nothing. I mean, like, let's go look. Can you sleep on this 24-hour challenge? <laughs> 45 hour challenge to sleep with that. I'll pay a hundred bucks. Actually, no, because I got to pay the medical bills. So that's on the other side. They're tearing this down too. That's from that thrift store. It's like all over the place. And they just, the tweak has been going crazy. So, I don't know. This is the whole mess. Best day ever because we're so exhausted. This um, is like yeah, I don't think I worked this hard in 20 years. I know. We're like, oh, I think we aged. I don't think I worked this hard. The in worst part is years. I don't even think we lost any weight. No, because we I ate did. Like crap. I, 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 
I lost 12 pounds. Must be nice. No, in the last couple of days. Oh, 12 pounds. <laughs> yep, yep. All done. So All right, let's close this puppy up. This is the end of it. I just wanted to say, aren't Renee and I some crazy kids with a little girl who was only four and a half years old and said, yeah, let's do it. Let's take this huge space and do a store. And then the other day we were driving and Renee's phone said store one. And he's like, man, wasn't I ambitious? I was thinking I'm going to have store one, store two, store three. And we were going to go that route, but then we got on storage wars and our business model changed. So it's pretty interesting. It's like the best day ever because the work is finally done, but it's a little sad, you know, but we're excited to look forward to new and more exciting things, especially with YouTube and the warehouse and selling online. So stay tuned. All right, tuned. guys, last time we're locking up Bargain Hunters. Another chapter comes to an end. Normally we'll lock up the store over there in about uh, probably less than a year from now. All these will be brand new Fairfield apartments. No, no, no more DVDs, no more discounts. But it was a fun ride. Let's get to the next adventure. If you haven't subscribed, make sure to subscribe and like. And we're just getting started. There's so much fun stuff coming. So you guys stay tuned. Woohoo! By the way, new storage was April 20th. Make sure to watch. Yeah. The end. The end. Aww.